Rebuilding a Legacy, Iron Man's Return with a Dark Secret. Chapter 2, The New Normal. Iron Man paced back and forth in the small safe house, his mind racing with questions about his past. He couldn't shake the feeling that there was something important that he was forgetting, something that could put him in danger. Elijah watched him with concern, knowing that Iron Man needed to keep a low profile if he wanted to stay safe. But at the same time, he understood the urgency of the situation. They needed to find out who was after Iron Man, and why. We need to come up with a plan, Elijah said, breaking the silence. Iron Man stopped pacing and turned to face Elijah. What do you suggest? Elijah took a deep breath. We need to start investigating your past. There might be clues that could help us figure out who is after you. Iron Man nodded, feeling a sense of relief that they were finally taking action. Okay. Where do we start? Elijah pulled out a laptop and opened it up, typing away at the keyboard. I've been doing some research, trying to find any information about you. But it's been difficult. It's like you've been erased from history. Iron Man felt a wave of panic wash over him. What do you mean? Elijah turned the laptop around to show Iron Man the screen. Look. This is all I could find about you. Iron Man looked at the screen, seeing a blank search result. No name, no history, nothing. It was like he didn't exist. We need to find someone who knows you, Elijah said, closing the laptop. Someone who can give us some answers. Iron Man nodded, feeling a sense of hopelessness. But at the same time, he knew that they had to keep trying. Who do we know? Iron Man asked. Elijah thought for a moment. There's one person who might be able to help us. A former colleague of yours. Dr. Jane Foster. Iron Man felt a flicker of recognition at the name, but he couldn't remember anything specific about her. What do we know about her? Iron Man asked. Elijah pulled up another file on his laptop. She's a physicist, worked with you on a few projects. According to her file, she's currently working at a research facility in Europe. Iron Man nodded. Okay. Let's go see her. Elijah hesitated. We can't just go barging in there. We need to be careful. If someone is after you, they might be watching her too. Iron Man nodded, realizing that Elijah was right. Okay. So what do we do? We need to make contact with her discreetly, Elijah said. I'll see if I can set up a meeting with her. In the meantime, we need to keep a low profile and stay vigilant. Iron Man nodded, feeling a sense of unease. They were getting closer to the truth, but at the same time, he knew that they were putting themselves in danger. As they waited for Elijah to set up the meeting, Iron Man tried to remember more about his past. But the more he tried to focus, the more his memories seemed to slip away. He couldn't shake the feeling that he was missing something important, something that could change everything. And he couldn't help but wonder if he would ever remember it in time. As the days passed, Iron Man and Elijah stayed in the safe house, waiting for word from Dr. Foster. They kept a low profile, avoiding any contact with the outside world. But Iron Man couldn't help but feel like they were running out of time. He couldn't shake the feeling that danger was closing in on them, and that they needed to find answers fast. Finally, after what felt, Iron Man and Elijah spent the next few days in the safe house, waiting for Elijah to set up a meeting with Dr. Foster. Iron Man couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched, that their every move was being monitored. He stayed on high alert, always ready to defend himself if necessary. On the third day, Elijah received an encrypted email from Dr. Foster, agreeing to meet with them at a discreet location outside of the city. Elijah quickly packed their bags and they set out on their journey. They drove for several hours, taking back roads and avoiding main highways to avoid any potential tail. The tension in the car was palpable, both Iron Man and Elijah lost in their own thoughts. Iron Man was still trying to remember anything from his past, while Elijah was focused on the road ahead, keeping an eye out for any potential danger. They finally arrived at a small farmhouse on the outskirts of a rural town. Dr. Foster was waiting for them inside, and after a brief greeting, she got straight to business. Iron Man, it's good to see you, Dr. Foster said, 
shaking his hand. I heard about what happened to you. It's all over the news. Iron Man felt a sense of unease at the mention of the news. What did they say? Dr. Foster hesitated for a moment before answering. They're calling you a fugitive. They say you've been involved in some sort of illegal activity. Iron Man felt his heart sink. That's not true. I know that, Dr. Foster said, placing a hand on his shoulder. But we need to figure out what's going on. Why someone is after you? Iron Man nodded, feeling a sense of relief that she believed him. Do you know anything that could help us? Dr. Foster hesitated again before answering. There's something that comes to mind, but I don't know if it's related. What is it? Elijah asked. Dr. Foster took a deep breath. A few years ago, we were working on a project together. It was highly classified, and only a handful of people knew about it. One day, everything just disappeared. All the research, all the data, everything. No one knew what happened. But I always had a feeling that something wasn't right. Iron Man felt a flicker of recognition at the story. Do you remember anything specific about the project? Dr. Foster shook her head. No, I'm sorry. Like I said, it was highly classified. We weren't even allowed to keep physical copies of our research. Everything was stored on a secure server. Iron Man felt a surge of frustration. So what do we do? Dr. Foster thought for a moment. I might know someone who could help us. He's a hacker, one of the best in the world. He's helped me out in the past, and I know he can get into just about any system. Iron Man felt a sense of relief. That could be exactly what we need. Can you get in touch with him? Dr. Foster nodded. I'll see what I can do. But we need to be careful. If someone is after you, they might be watching me too. Iron Man and Elijah thanked Dr. Foster for her help and quickly left the farmhouse. They drove back to the safe house, both lost in their own thoughts. Iron Man couldn't shake the feeling that there was still something important he was missing, something that could put him in danger. And he couldn't help but wonder if they were getting closer to the truth or if they were just digging themselves deeper into a hole. As they settled back into the safe house, waiting for. If you're enjoying this series, make sure to subscribe, and turn on notifications, so that you don't miss, any of the action in chapter 3.